Hello everyone, welcome back to House Julia, the next generation here on Rome 2. And you can see that things aren't going too bad. Now, these guys are having a little bit of a contretemps uh, with these guys. And essentially, these guys are being attacked and they're being supported by these guys. So whether or not we're going to have to get involved in that, I don't know. We've got a little area up there. But more to the point, we did go up against Athens. Now, Athens offered us a surrender and offered to become our client state, which they have now done, which means we get money from them. And we're moving forces into position to take out the Spartans. Now, one thing to bear in mind is that Athens is our client state. Yeah, they probably hate us anyway. You have my attention. So we'll go for a trade agreement. No, they don't want trade with us, but because I guess we already have money. So let's go to that one. Are they going to give us anything? Peace, like a civilized man oh, shut up. Pharaoh, whose words guide my every thought, would laugh to think Egyptians might want... Yeah, yeah, whatever, dude. Don't worry, Egyptians. We'll be coming to see you soon enough. Now, it could be that we'll go down to Hunossus here, kick him in the Kanokas, and then make our way down to Egypt. But, I mean, right now, it's still looking okay as far as the Roman Empire is concerned. But predominantly, what we have done is we have taken down the Iceni. Sorry about the little bit of slowdown. And it seems to happen on Rome too. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I just recently upgraded to the, uh, or updated, I should say, to the latest version of the uh, NVIDIA driver. So maybe there's a bug in it or something like that. But anyway, uh, so these two guys here are getting their numbers sorted. And we need to, we'll need to recruit another guy, but we can't really do that at the moment. Um, however, um, we have pieced out with the Iceni, and I reckon that these guys should be our next point of call. Um, we can then obviously go back against uh, these guys over here. And we're still at war with the Caledonians anyway, so, you know, we could just go up and punch in them in the face as well. So, you know, these are options that we've got, and we've also got another third army making their way to the actual location. And they should be down here somewhere, I think. Yeah, they're sort of around this area. And they should be on their way. So, the good news is, is because of obviously a couple of mission passes recently and outstanding issues, we've got like 12 grand in the bank. Um, so, you know, things are looking pretty good. And we just gotta be careful not to sort of overreach ourselves when that money runs out. Because otherwise that could give us a serious problem. So. We hunger for battle. What options do we have up here? Now, if I remember rightly, we probably need to recruit a spy. Scribonia Leonis or Hostilia Catega. Let's go for Scribonia because I love that name, Scribonia. I wish you to go and do some spying. So you, madam, will go that way. And go and see what's up in their Barakum and those places. In the meantime, we'll obviously deal with those guys. The Mists of Doom. Yeah. Gonna believe that one. So, let's see. Um, down here, we've got these guys coming around the side, and the reason I brought them round, for those of you who are not aware, is because if we had moved into here, look at how close that area is to that beach. They would have jumped us straight away, we would have had problems. Whereas if we come in on this beach, we've got a little bit of area of beach to work on, land their forces and then move in. So that's a better option for us. And that's the option that we're actually going for. So. We've also got these guys here. Who will need to come out of that stance. We've still got the Athenian Navy. 
sniffing around. Those guys are back in there because Apollonia was named after Apollo, which is obviously God in the case of Athens. And uh, they kept having forces sniffing around that area. So they are in there to essentially prevent them getting any silly ideas. So that's what's happening down there. And then obviously we've got the battles up here. These guys are being held back by uh, a couple of armies. So just in case, because the thing is, the reason I attacked Athens is because Athens didn't like me, but these guys, the Galatia, did. So there was no reason to attack a friend. I might as well attack someone who hates me rather than somebody who likes me. That was my reasoning under the circumstances. Anyway, let's end the turn. See, there's the German Confederation up to no good. Getting involved with the Rugi. Basically doing their impression of sooty. Um, okay, ready to command the statesman. Good for him. Now, household has expanded. Send that to the pool. Encourage populace. Good. Macedonia are encouraged. That's excellent news. Construction complete with fountains in Nematocena. Okay. So. How are Apollonia? They're happy. Good. How are Sparta? Ready for orders. Probably not going to be happy for long. For honor and glory. Yes. I think we'll wait another turn. Is there nothing else? Before we go after the Spartans. So. Let's see. These guys still in place. They could do with an upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. I want my sort of frontline forces as upgraded as is possible. Let's go over to these guys here in King. They're all upgraded. And let's check that guy. He could do with an upgrade because he's a new boy. And then obviously all these guys have been upgraded as well. Which is excellent. Now, Van Hula Bora, they're right. Um, let's check this guy. At your command. Yeah, he's good. And let's check. Have we done that one? We'll check that one. Ready for orders. And they're okay as well. And that's a nice big stack army as well. So. What I might start doing is bringing these guys out and bring them down there. Got to keep that one there. So I'm going to bring them round. This guy is a smaller army. I think we'll leave him like that. But what I'm thinking is that we need to start dealing with this area here as well. We haven't looked anywhere near Ethiopia or anything like that. So I think that would be a smart move on our part to come down here. Now this guy obviously is on his way over to assist us with the Spartans. We should clear out some of that area. Now, what we do need to do 
is... One. Hire us, uh, a spy. We wanted to recruit a spy, didn't we? There we go. Had a go. And then... Our other spy who's now up here. Oh, hello. On the road again. So she's going to go looking around the country. Clear out the fog of war. And see what she can do. We hunger for battle. Now, what have we got here? That's all being built. Good. He's there. He's good. Full stack. Oh, look, a full stack army. How lovely. So. We've still got those guys up there. Okay. So, not much more we can do right now here. More to the point, we should be able to take this guy in the next turn out of that movement stance and land on the edges of Sparta. There is a time when warriors must sheathe the sword and talk for the good of their people. Okay. What be Persia up to? Garamantia. Trade with this ally is no longer possible. Oh dear, we've lost Buko. Postimius Buko. Hidden Ancient has been exposed. Okay, fair dues. Political intrigue. Right, so that guy there. Rutilus, Cornelia, that guy. What do you wish of me? Right, first things first, my lady. I would like to clear this fog of war. Is there nothing else? We'll have to wait and see. What is that? That's the Iceni. And then we'll bring her down to there to clear that area of fog as well. So, peace negotiated between ourselves and the Caledones. So, we're no longer at war with the Caledones. Uh, lots of construction. The faction, the Garamantia, have been destroyed. Now, that's interesting because who has taken them? Oh, Libya. Libya has finished off the Garamantia. Wow. Now... What it might be worth doing is getting this young lady to make her way down to there. Now, we want to clear the fog of war, predominantly around this area, but we also want to send her down into Africa, into Libya and Egypt and have a look around those areas because we haven't really investigated any of those areas as of yet. So, that's the thing. I mean, when you when you watch somebody like Mal, I mean, Mal's very expansionist, very aggressive, uh, but, you know, takes more risks than I do. I tend to be a lot more conservative, which is why I haven't expanded over the entire bloody map. Um, you know, so, I just tend to be a little bit more cautious, I suppose. Or cowardly, depending on your point of view. Um, so, let's see. What's that? What can go in there? There's not really any points at 100, and it's going up by 40. There's no point putting anything in Kasurgis. We need to save our money for the inevitable confrontation Ready for orders. with the Spartans. Disembarking. Police reporting. Just move it round here. 
And Bosch. There we go. So, we'll move. Which one is the. Ready for battle, Commander. Okay, so they both. That one has horses, so we'll go into with that one first. Advance. And these guys Ready can move up as well. We cannot pass here. And there we, we go. For battle. Hmm. Let's see how we get on, shall we? Oh, they're allied with Egypt. And they've been joined by Egypt. Good. Gives us an excuse to shoot Egypt in the face then. So we've got going on for... Yeah, 1800, 1800 troops. What the hell? Supported by 1880? Where the hell did they come from? A garrison army? So you've got this guy, Diodorus, and then you've got all these. Oh, for God's sake. We got the advantage. It's only a pity we don't have any artillery, but you know, it's only a minor settlement, that's the point. This is Sparta and all the rest of it, you know. So, let's see what we come across with this lot. Hmm. What to do, what to do, what to do. Obviously, depends on the walls, but it's Sparta. It's a minor settlement. Probably won't have a lot of walls. We shall deploy. Yeah. So... Let's get these boys ready to go. Supported by our Vigiles and followed up with the Belegians. With Legatus at the rear. And then Horses up there. Horses up here. Legionary cavalry. And horses here. So. Our foes are mostly Greeks. Think of them to worrying about poetry or some similar womanly nonsense. <laughs> Enemy reinforcements approaching. So that's where the reinforcements are coming from. All spearmen. Okay. And our boys are here. And they will probably need to come up here. Like this. Over to one side. And through this pass. There we go. Our horses love. So. Let's get these guys forward more. So they can engage these guys. The hello. Let's get them loosed on there. They got spearmen stopping that way. That? 
Tarantine Cavalry. Not sure where he's going. Going back over there. Come on, boys. Gonna have to move these lads forward because they're taking too much fire. Bring those guys in. Here come the enemy reinforcements. Let's bring these guys in here to support as well. Let's get the cavalry through because they got spearmen coming after them. Come on, boys. For a bit. Fire on the enemy. Battle ready and eager. Get them attacked. Legatus. Get our Legatus up further. Rare indeed. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Right, let's bring two units around the side. And then another two units. Around this side. One of our units has used all its ammunition. So these guys have used all their ammunition. Let's put them down there. Men are wavering. Swordsman into there. Spartan Hoplites. Right, so need to bring these guys in fast to attack from the rear. Okay, where's our reinforcements? Here they come. Can we get them in the sides? No. I have to bring them all the way around to the back. It's going to be a long old ride for them. Bring 
these guys in. Attack those guys at the rear. Bring those guys in. Cavalry by the looks of it. Perioiko Hoplites. Get those guys in as well. Bring in the Eagles. Sorry, I'm not talking much. I'm, oh, Jesus Christ, look at that s scrum in the center. Oh, God, that's the bloody commanding officer. What's he doing there, fool? Infantry in the sides. Here we go, they're losing decisively there. These guys are doing their best to hold the center. Guys, into the, that. Good, they're breaking. Let's bring, let's bring those guys up here. Wow, it's a right old scrum in here, isn't it? And get some of those guys in there. Get them to attack from the rear as well. Get these guys moved up as well. And those guys as well. Oh, Royal Spartans. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Get them in the back. In fact, no, let's get them after that lot. Guys, are all getting into position. One of our units has used all its ammunition. All right, let's look what's going on over here. 
Get them. Actually, let's bring them around the side. And these around the side as well. Get them the hell out of Dodge. Right. What are all this lot? Send them forward. Actually, screw it. Let's send him after that lot. Cheeky bastard shooting at me. Bring these guys back. Because otherwise they'll end up wandering through the back ends of the world for those bastards. Let's see. Move these guys around here. Lot. Get that lot. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Right. Romans, ready for duty. Vigilay. Rome is mother to us all. This island for Get them to support. Where's the capture point? Uh, smack bang in the bloody centre, isn't it? Would be. Legionary cohort and the double. Your orders. Double. The battle is turning in our favour. Should bloody well hope so. <laughs> Come on, boys. Bash him up. Bash him up. Right, we got to reforce the rear numbers. That's where it's all happening in the centre here. So I think what we also need to do. Break them. One of our 
units has used all its ammunition. Bring these guys up. Oh, or possibly not. Just there. He can stay back as well. Silly Legatus. Get the Vigilates there. is going to go bring the horses around here come on riders get the hell out of dodge there. Get these guys. God, this battle is a mess. Get after the Royal Spartans. guys are doing a fantastic job of holding that lot. And there we go, every single time. Never fails. And then, yeah, send them out here. Okay. Legionary cohort. Right, let's send at your a legionary cohort up the center to assist over here. is such a choke point. Yeah, things are starting to break all over for him. Yeah, they've all pretty much broken. There's the Royal Spartans. Let's get all these guys lined up over here. It was never going to be an easy battle, that's for damn sure. The boys have fought hard and well. Can ask nothing more of them. Happy to serve, 
side just butcher them all please get these guys to stop them This fought battle of the campaign, I'd say. Wow, we lost a thousand men. Wow. Oh, a very, very hard fought battle. Could not really complain. It was against the Spartans. Goes die the most. <laughs> we'll occupy. Here we go. So There we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Ready for battle. We hunger. Sparta has been captured. We'll take Ready these guys sir, out. Commander. Put these guys in, because they're a bigger army. So, now we have dealt with the Spartans. We do have this guy here. Ready for battle. Wipe them out. We'll wipe him out shortly. But, for this... Oh, bugger. We hunger for Commander, battle. Set up the watch. But for this particular battle, and this particular campaign, this episode is now going to come to a close. So, Ready I hope you guys have enjoyed. And girls, obviously. And uh, we shall see you next time for more Rome 2. Take care, everyone.